Hello guys, welcome back to our journey of creating an unturned alternative for mobile. We're gonna start this episode with something quite exciting, even though I didn't get very far with it yet. And that's something many of you asked about. It's multiplayer. The thing with multiplayer is that I have no previous experience making multiplayer games. I'm confident that won't be a problem though. The only thing is that it will take a while to implement it. So we're gonna release the single player game first, so you can play it while we work on the multiplayer. Let's get to the actual gameplay. We experimented a bit with multiplayer and made a version where we can create or join a world, punch other people in the face and that's it. Pretty much what Florida would be without technology. Just kidding. Back to the single player. Starting with some action, we added automatic rifles. At the moment, just this M16. The zombies are still really weak and pretty dumb right now. But don't worry, that's just for testing purposes. We'll buff them later on. Before moving on from zombies, we'd like to ask all of you if you want the game to have Billy as the character model or the new guy we modeled, Chad. Leave a comment below and the one with the most votes will stay. A popular request were backpacks, so we added one. We also added a flashlight, good for fast attacking and visibility when and where there's not much lightning. There's sticks and cloth pieces now, so y'all can craft torches and bandages. Speaking about torches and structures, the building system got some big changes. Again, besides the new models my girlfriend made for the structures, placing foundations looks different from placing walls now, and snapping structures works much better. We added beds that you can place and own or disown them. Their role is the classic role of a spawn point. Also fix the doors. This is what building a small base looks like now. Meanwhile, me and my girlfriend would like to thank y'all for the great amount of comments and likes. You might not know, but that helps and motivates us a lot. There's plenty of great suggestions, opinions or just supportive comments. We're very grateful to have such a community and we're glad to hear more of your feedback so don't forget to leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to keep up with the progress and glitch that like button.